Breakfast time. Rice for you, pancakes for me. Ooh, what is this? Share me. I'm about to finish this here. This here blueberry yogurt container. And since it's your birthday, uh, no. no, no. Happy birthday to you. My birthday, I got a yogurt container. 48% chance at nine. 74 at 10. 85 at 11, 90 at 12. And then it looks good the afternoon. A little bit of rain last night and it's fixing to rain again here in about an hour when we start racing. 35-ish miles today with only like 3,000 feet of climbing. There's really only that one big climb up to Tussies and then everything else is kind of rolly. But there's a lot of kind of flat, rocky stuff today. That's gonna be super slick from all the rain. Time to see if Caleb's got what it takes. The big test, Tussie's Ridge today. And then it's Big Man's birthday today. What's up, Big Man? No, not your birthday. Get out of here. Hey, Big Man. Happy birthday. Five years old today, huh? All right, we gotta get ready. It's a little chilly. I'm just trying to figure out what to wear. Arm warmers, no arm warmers. It's probably gonna be wet anyway. I don't know what to do. Birthday boy doesn't touch the ground. All right, man. Good luck, guys. See you. Sometime. All right, man. See you later. <laughs> woo woo! Big day! Woo woo! I am gonna give her the beans. Are you gonna give her the beans? Yeah. <laughs> you don't seem like you're gonna give her the Just beans. Wake up here. Turn left onto Tussies. If we can just make him keep digging, he'll be sloppy on the ring.
Did you give the ridge the beans? I did. Yeah? How'd it go? Left some beans on me. <laughs> Thank you. That was a good, good day. Good job, guys. Good. Anything? Want anything? Oh, could be. I thought he was bridging on that road. We just kind of kept him like a little bit at bay because he's so good at that like open power. Yeah, but I knew if he was like working and then went into the ridge gas, he'd be fucked. Yeah, you gapped him on Longburger a little bit. You were like, be smooth, and then I immediately <laughs> hit the worst rock. Hey, man. Woo! That ridge was something, wasn't it? That was gnarly. All cleaned up here back in the RV after stage four, and man, it was a doozy. It's still raining. Enjoying this moment of quiet solitude. No dogs, just me. Couldn't have asked for a better day, make up some time. Got to start, not in the rain, which is great. And then it rained a little bit overnight, so the trails were nice and slick to start the day. And then once we got up on Tussies, the rain was just blowing sideways. Things stayed together for like the first 11 miles. There was a lot of gravel, and then we hit some flow trail around the lake. Then we got into the first techie trail, which was John Wirt, and I got to the front to kind of test the boys. It's a little too flat and I wasn't really pushing the pace that hard just because kind of early in the day. We got out of John Wirt, then Carson took over pacemaking on Longburger. He kind of started to gap Caleb a little bit and then we turned left up three bridges, really turned on the throttle and, and then he really gapped Caleb. Maybe only like seven seconds or so, but that was enough for us to come out of three bridges and be together on the road climb back up to Tussie Ridge and we were able to you know trade pulls we were saving energy making caleb work yeah then i got to the front and just i knew that if i was gonna make it happen it was gonna be on tussie ridge and so i just like let her fly man it was wild made it through tussies maybe grabbed a little enduro bonus i'm sure carson played the grand fondo game on me and he probably got me in the enduro and then carson and me just traded pulls all the way back to camp he did attack me on the road climb into camp, maybe crossed the line 10 seconds in front of me, but that was okay. I was uh, really focused on putting time into Caleb and I did it. Not sure exactly what the time is, but fingers crossed I might have taken over the GC. Wait for this rain to pass and then go to awards tonight. See how Emily did. Hopefully she kept air in her tires today. Did you keep air in your tires today? I won. You I did? Eight minutes, but I don't think it's gonna be enough. No! Why not? Tomorrow's gnarly. I know. Yeah, I think I just won to race in the yellow jersey. Well, who cares if you race in the yellow yeah. jersey as long as you get it yeah, in the last yeah. day? This one's the best one. Now for the GC, in third place, Carson Beckett. Second place, Caleb Swartz. And our new race leader with a time of 9.41.53. Approximately 30.5 second lead, Kerry Werner Jr. It's a race. I'm not unzipping you, you're stuck now. <laughs> you don't keep that Oh, you need this back? <laughs> it's my first time. <laughs> Both to get really freaking angry. Got a new jersey to wear tomorrow. 35 seconds. Emily's hungry, she's not stoked with me right now. I'm hungry. I'm four minutes down. That means tomorrow, if I finish one spot behind Caleb in the Enduro, that's a 20 second bonus for him. So that means I've only got 15 seconds to work with. It's a long Enduro too. Is it? How long? Uh, we should look at the distance, but it's pretty long. But it's a, it's a lot of downhill, right? Yes, yes, all downhill. Uh, one very small uphill. Oh. So basically, I just need to pin the enduro, not flat. Hopefully, beat Caleb in the enduro. He wins the enduro, and I finish third. I'm screwed. That's it. Game over. Unless I can beat him by six seconds. Oh, there's just so many variables. Moral of the story is: don't get dropped. Slay the enduro, and then I win the whole thing. And finish the vlog earlier so we can go to bed earlier. Yeah. Easier said than done. On all fronts, really.